Hello, hello, hello there. It's me, Foolish Big J, here to talk to you about uh, pocket medics. So, unfortunately, my uh, audio didn't record because of uh, my program not running properly. But I got a friend of mine, Paintball Blazers, in here, and he's going to help me demonstrate why pocket medics are a good thing. So, I'm going to come back here and try to find him here, and we're going to hook up before the round starts. So I'm going to start out a soldier and try to tell you why I think pocket medics are a good thing. Well, obviously they're a good thing because, you know, you get the heals and you can jump in like this and just and just throw around a lot of damage to your enemies. Um, but the problem with the, uh, the medic is knowing what he's going to do and him knowing what you're going to do. So synergy plays a lot of, a lot of a role in what you're doing here, Ooh, bombing in there and this is the other medic that popped the quick fix. He knew he knew that I was gonna be in trouble if he didn't. So uh, we're just gonna try to keep these blues at bay here. Hopefully, doing our best to repel them out. Uh, Payload's a good map to to test this out. Ooh, and they popped, and I'm trying to get out. I'm looking for my medic, but uh, I found out that he got sniped. He sent me a message saying that he was sniped. So unfortunately, he was down. One thing as a pocket you have to realize is where your medic is, if he's there, if he's not there, why he's not there, how to get to him. Uh, I have this other medic come and help me here, trying to trying to keep them out. And then it's funny because I'm like, okay, I back out of this, and I, not paying attention, didn't didn't know. But the whole time I'm doing this, I believe an NG sneaks up around the long way because there's two ways to get to the second point. So I'm sitting here spamming. I have two medics on me. I'm I'm doing a good job of taking out uh taking out resistance here. And then I get blown back and I'm getting chipped by something. I didn't realize there's an NG on full offensive. So I decided okay, let me switch to heavy and see see if this could be a better demonstration. I'm not really a good soldier player. Maybe maybe I can show you the full extent here. So I I'm peeking around this corner, and there's a lot around this corner. I take a pill direct there, another pill direct there, and I'm taking splash damage everywhere. So I even went down to one health here, and my medic died, unfortunately, because he went too far forward. But the amount of damage I'm allowed to soak up is so much greater now that I have a medic than when I didn't. So I'm sitting here trying to, to throw out as much damage as I can while getting healed, so... I'm able to stay in the fight, but I'm also able to dish out as much damage as I possibly can dish out. That is the purpose of a pocket medic. In competitive, um, the medic stays with the soldier, the demo, the heavy, all the big major damage dealing classes. What to have to come back? I ran out of ammo here. I was a little embarrassed, and he followed me back. They stay with the with the big oh Uber out. Unfortunately, the Uber took out my medic again. We hadn't worked together very well, only because we were in chat. If we were in chat, probably would have been a little better. And the, uh, and the the pyros and ended up taking me out. So try to get back here. But yeah, comms would have been better. Comms with your medic is so important. Knowing what he's up to, knowing what you're up to, or if if you two know each other enough, maybe. Comms aren't that important if you are able to do this. Uh, at this point, I'm just trying to throw out damage. I know I don't do too far, or too much damage too far away. It scales damage. So I'm, I'm just trying to deter him. And then the bonk, unfortunately, is gives them enough credit. So we got pushed way back out of, of that area, and we were getting camped hard. So I decided to switch to demo because they had been setting up an engine nest, and I came here to find Paintball. Come on, Paintball. There we go. We I came to find him so we can go out and try to take out this engine nest. So I throw a few pills up there to deal damage, and most of them hit. But uh, unfortunately, they're trying to also attack our front door as I was trying to take out the nest. So I'm trying to spread damage between the two, and like I, I have been most of this game, just trying to keep them at bay. Really, the struggle was to keep them from not overwhelming us. Uh, the team, the team kind of fell apart. We were trying. The team comp was hard. That's why I went to, to demo. I knew, 
I knew I could do more damage this way. So here's me trying to spam out that heavy that's hiding. Um, trying to come around and it turns out the engineer had done the same thing I was about to do, dropped on and got him. So I can now focus more energy on that, that nest up there. But God, I ran out of ammo so I had to go get some more. Switch around, load up, make sure I have enough in each gun to to deal damage. Try to throw some more damage up there because that engine nest was really starting to to affect our buildings. We had uh, we only had four minutes left, so we thought I was thinking at this point I was thinking pretty good. Oh, crit there got two of them, but I was too cocky and didn't pay attention to the spy that was right behind me, unfortunately. So let's come back here and. Oh, they Ubered up there. See, that's the reason why that NGNS is dangerous, because they could just drop right on with an Uber like that. I was able to stump them. My goal there was to stump them. Ooh, the critical kill to take out three of them. I knew I couldn't hurt them, but if I could stop them from dropping down, it was it was good. So we were able to stop them, get another kill on the way. Throw in some more. I ended up taking the teleporter. I was trying to tell my... I told everyone to tell you down. Push forward. Well, not push forward, hold better, I guess. And then there's still more up there, but the soldier went up there, so I tried to lay sticky to this demo. Then I tried to pretend to duck around the corner and be like, okay, maybe if he doesn't see me, he'll pop out. And then he didn't, but the scout got in, so I still still got some of the trap. Took him out. Noticing my medic is close to Uber, so I want to hold forward here. And try to and try to inflict damage and try to pop into him was my goal. Try to catch him off guard. And uh, just wanted to check nothing was coming. Wanted to load up on stickies. Wanted to uh, just keep control. Okay, so oh oh oh, dealing a lot of damage. I wanted to fall back. They they did so much damage to paintball. I I um. Just wanted to have him heal up before anything else further happened. Uh, then I realized I'm also low on ammo, so I should pop up. All right, now, now hopefully we should be ready for a push here soon, so we start to try to head forward a little bit. Oh, and then I get the end of this quick fix Uber, so I'm like, okay, let's go around, let's see what we can clean up, and they all bunch up just like I like. Then I got the pop. I missed that medic, but I was more concerned with the sniper soldier combo up here. Out of ammo, I was like, ah, he's not paying attention. Let's take out the pan. Let's do some pan work here. It worked out. Cleared out most of their pushing force there. Dropped down and around. So now, now we cleared out most of them two minutes before the end. But that just means that they're all going to respond at the same time and one big push. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep that point that they're pushing suppressed so they couldn't get through. And uh, they're still trying to get through. But uh. And then the okay, we're gonna switch. So they switched to the main entrance there, which was a problem because all the confusion. I didn't notice that there was a sniper creeping up, so I was trying to kill all those things. And I see him right there, but I couldn't do anything because I'm still trying to stop them from pushing in. And it's my downfall because he got me. He had my number. Good on him. So I come back here for a little while, trying, still trying to spam out that main point. I mean. Oh my god, they they were swarming. They all had spawned basically at the same time after that wipe, and they were all pushing, pushing, pushing. And then I get hit by a, a nice little sticky, and he takes out the sentry. And that usually spells GG right there, and, and they they were able to cap. So now we're here on offense, trying to, trying to see... Trying to see if the pocket works good on offense, which it always, always does. Out of the gate here, I'm going to aim for their med. I get Ubered. I'm able to drop their med, drop their Uber, and uh, drop the sentry here, get rid of that. We don't need that in our in our business. And then just generally spam their direction. And then I noticed that someone got behind. Oh, nope. There's a soldier. I noticed someone was behind over there. It's a pyro. I was like, okay, I got this. And he surfs my sticky, which is amazing. And he's able to dodge, like, all my hits, which... Pretty impressive, actually, for him. And then I'm just up here trying to trying to deal damage, but Heavy's got it, so I'm gonna try to sneak around and see if they have anything up here. No, nope. oh, saw the dot on the door, knew there's a sniper, I'm trying to duck out. All right, so I'm gonna come back around here and try to help. Got blasted by the loose cannon. Had to back up a little bit. 
spy helping me here, and that sniper comes back out, makes an appearance, and hits my med. So I'm gonna try to spam him out, make him make him regret coming out. And then pyros, though. This is where the pyro invasion started. I'm able to clean up a few of them, but there's another one, and he's blasting us around. I get I managed to get the pill on him, and then we we are sitting here we're getting ready to push in. Nothing much resistance. Scout gets me with milk. I duck out. I don't want to give his team free kills. So I come back, get some ammo, get some more ammo here in a second. Right there, get that. Make sure I have full ammo. Then duck around the corner. Oh, flog. I'll... Paintball was beautiful on there. I was able to pop and save me. I tried to take him down, but I overextend. I ended up overextending way too far. And on our way out, we take a lot of damage, and then the spy is able to clean us up here. Unfortunately. Alright. Trying to push forward again. Trying to push forward. See if we can make anything here. Cart's almost to the point. And then and we're just going to spam out. Make sure we can get this cart through this little tricky area here with the spinning thing. Oh, spy almost gets me again. This time I'm able. I heard him, so I turned around, and I was able to, to clean him up before he's too much trouble. And then pyro medic combo here. Like I said, these pyros are really aggressive, so I'm trying to take them down, keep them down. The one I had the most trouble with was the flog, of course, because he was able to to get crits off my teammate by spamming spamming flares and lighting them on fire. The majority wanted to hang back, make sure nothing happened, try to spam them out. No one's there. Come back, reload, and they, then they're there. So. And then the flog pyro comes in and taunts just to rub it in. Oh, that that dirty flog. Oh, uh, I was like, what the hell? And it actually turns out that was just a hard soldier trying to get some market garden kills up there. I'm able to clean up someone there. There's a lot, like I said, lots of pyros pushing in. I'm I'm very wary of them. I'm keeping my medic alive. Unfortunately, the other medic got caught on fire. And I'm just sitting here trying to trying to spam them out. Hopefully, hopefully getting some kills there. Trying to get rid of these pyros so we can push in. And unfortunately, I was separated there from my medic, and uh, he got hit pretty hard. Unfortunately, by that pyro. I'm not sure if he goes down here. I think he goes. Nope, he's still alive. Not right there. He. He goes down because he gets really too close to me, and I'm trying to absorb that shot for him, and the splash damage ends up getting him as they pop. Unfortunately, it happens. Well, the Uber faded, so I'm going to try to get behind. I see someone on the cart, so I'm going to get around there and see if I can get on the cart to cap this point because it's so close. Spam them away, spam them away, spam them, get the cart, get another 4 minutes to 30. Doing alright. This pyro is in my business. I ended up killing that spy, which I didn't realize was a spy at the time. He got my medic, he separated me, and there's no health nearby, so I just, ugh. And he gets another taunt. Alright, back here. Let's see, let's see here. Paintball was off spawn, so I have to wait for him to come back as I'm spamming them out. I'm trying to hold back, because I don't have my medic, and okay, so he meets up with me. So this is one. Oh, I get the invisible spy that wasn't Ready for that? I realize we have three medics, so I shouldn't be holding so far back. So I'm gonna try to see if I can clean up one or two people before I can push right out there, because we have the heals, we have the the tanking ability. So I'm sitting here pushing out, and then I fall back because they push forward the the flog, and I was afraid to give him more crits because that was our main problem. Then I spam, trying to run out, trying to get him. I run out of ammo, head to the cart to refuel. Trying to push it up this little hill here. Throw some stickies down, trying to trying to keep it. Then I try to get that sentry because I saw the light, but it distracted me. I didn't see this pyre or this demo night here, and I was caught off guard. And he got the heavy, and I felt so bad. But and then the the pyro rushes in, and I'm able to get away. And I make sure that I lead paintball to this little room here so he can get health. This is. This is what you should do for your pocket. You need to keep him, or your medic, you need to keep him alive. You need to make sure he's healthy. And he's supposed to keep you healthy. So it's a it's a teamwork synergy. If you can't keep each other alive, it, this doesn't work. Notice how long I've been able to stay alive and how much damage I've been able to take. That's because I have a pocket who is, even though we're not communicating, after a few 
few uh, moments of playing together after a little while, he's able to almost predict my play style so he can keep up with me. And I see that flog up there pop, and I'm able to hit the air shot, but can't follow up. I hit another one, actually, but he was healed at the time, so he didn't die. Then I do another 50, so he has to back out. I'm able to put enough damage on and get the, the spy behind us of sapping our sentry. Oh, and then he pops. I wasn't ready for that, that uber. And kind of go in. I get a kill on the medic, I believe. But we aren't able to do too much. Oh, I hit a pill on that pyro, causing him to back up. I wish we could have done more with the uber. I just wasn't ready for it. That's another thing you have to communicate. You have to tell him when to pop, when you're ready for it. But I think he uh, took damage, so that's why. And I'm afraid this pyro is up here. I know he's up there, but I don't want to chase him because that's what he wants. Combined space to build his flog. And so he's going to sit up there and he's going to try to to flare us down and get enough damage. I'm just going to spam a few in there and hope that he, in the hopes that he comes out on his own because I'm not going to chase him because I'm going to try to try to take down this combo up here because I need to and and try to get this cart up the hill. And yeah, he came out on his own and he ended up dying to someone. So now I'm like I said, I'm trying to focus down this combo. There's a medic, there's a heavy. They're pushing into us. There's a soldier. A lot of damage dealing coming down. I'm just trying to, to sponge up a little of that damage for everyone and trying to deal out as much as I can so that we can clean these people up as fast as we can. That's the best part about having a pocket med. I lose paintball here, actually speaking of which. And I didn't realize, and I'm still like overextending a little, and I lit, lit on fire, and I'm like, wait, wait a minute. I'm on fire. I'm getting shot at. I need to back up. I, my, he's gone, and then I end up reconnecting him with him right here by the dispenser. And I'm sitting here, I'm waiting for ammo. I, that's a spy, but that scout was going to clean him up here. Got him. Oh, no, he didn't. That's another kill, but he ended up cleaning him up. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to push forward and see what kind of damage I can cause. So we're going to go up here and try to flank around them. As they push up, I'm going to get behind them and see if I can cause enough mayhem for us to get that cart pushed up. So I'm here, I'm spamming, I hit hit that pyro for a lot, hit that med for a little bit, uh, hit that that scout, and I'm able to cause them to take enough damage to back out, and I did some damage to that fly pyro. Now, since I just caused that disruptance, the NG is able to put a sentry up forward, and we're able to grab the cart and push it up. So here we go. And now it's important to get healed up, reload everything. Once I cap this point, I'm all about getting to that last point and make it so they can't set up, they can't do anything. Because once they set up, that's when it gets hard. That's when we have to, to fight and try to claw them out of there. So I'm in here early, cleaning up that soldier, throwing down some damage on the point, and I'm, we're able to get in here really quickly and dispose of most of these people as I drop in. See, I wouldn't be able to do all this if I wasn't always healed, constantly overhealed, constantly throwing out damage. So this is why, right here, the lesson of getting a good pocket medic, knowing your medic, knowing what to do, how to keep him alive. This has been Foolish BJ and Paintball Blazer teaching you how a pocket medic can improve your game. Thank you very much, and stay foolish.